Hi, I'm Kaylee, and I want to talk about Edgar Rice Burroughs. And I'm wearing my fox sweater today, so it's a good day. Edgar Rice Burroughs is, of course, best known for writing the Tarzan books. But he wrote a lot of other stuff, too. So let's jump right into it. I've collected quite a few of Edgar Rice Burroughs books just in used book sales over the years. So some of these I've read, some of them I have yet to read, but we're just going to talk them through. Edgar Rice Burroughs was born in Chicago. He worked as a ranch hand and later on he owned a ranch. He worked as a pilot and he had a lot of failed businesses in his past. The story goes that he was reading a Pulp Fiction magazine and he thought, this is pathetic. I can write something better than that. And so in his spare time, he just started writing. And of course, the rest is history. From about 1911 till when he died in 1950, he wrote almost 80 novels, mostly sci-fi and fantasy with a few westerns thrown in. All of Edgar Rice Burroughs' books are characterized by this powerful hero who is flung into a foreign landscape. Whether that foreign landscape is an alien planet or some sort of, you know, underground world at the Earth's core. And then he has to acclimate to the culture there and kind of make friends or make enemies, as the case may be. And that hero always has some sort of love interest with an incredibly intelligent woman. In some way, she is ostracized from her culture, or she's somehow alone in some situation. And so they end up bonding together just to make it through. There's always some sort of cultural or political conflict that is going on kind of in the background. The hero is thrown into the middle of a war, or he's thrown into the middle of this political intrigue, or there's some kind of cultural conflict that's happening. It definitely keeps the action moving and it makes things interesting. In nearly every book, there's also a villain who becomes a friend. Like, you think he's the bad guy, but it turns out, you know, he really is a good guy. We just didn't see eye to eye, and now he's an ally. And there's also an ally who you thought was a friend who then becomes the villain. He betrays you and he ends up being the bad guy. So whenever I start one of his novels, I'm kind of wondering, wait, who's the bad guy and who's the good guy here? He really gets you cheering for the good guys because they're so brave and righteous. And contrary-wise, the villains are really horrid and scary. Those villains are absolutely despicable. One of the things that I love about the heroes in Edgar Rice Burroughs books is that they always choose honor. When that hero has a choice between doing the right thing or doing the easy thing, they always choose the harder path. They always choose to do what is right just because, you know, they couldn't live with themselves if they didn't have honor. I really love that about Burroughs' main characters. There's also a lot of fighting in his books. There are these long drawn out battles or hand-to-hand -hand combat. There's tons of action. I really love Burroughs' writing style because he keeps it pretty concise. There are no wasted words or boring descriptions or long drawn out details. He just says it what it is and he moves on to the next sentence. Burroughs is a master at keeping you hanging on his every word with suspense. The Tarzan series has 25 books in it, and it was started in 1912 with, of course, Tarzan of the Apes. The other books that I have are The Beasts of Tarzan, The Son of Tarzan, and The Return of Tarzan. I have only read the first three books in this series, and I just can't seem to get my hands on the rest of those, but I love these books. I'm definitely going to be reading through this series eventually. The plots and the characters in these are not like what you would think from some of the movies that you may have seen, you know, me, Tarzan, you, Jane, that kind of stuff. It is very minimal in the books. The plots are really complex and they just have a ton of characters that you don't see in the movies. Tarzan is a very intelligent person. And the way that the jungle is described and the setting of the culture between Tarzan and his ape friends, it's very compelling and very powerful. And it's just plain entertaining. The Barsoom series has 11 books and it starts with A Princess of Mars. These were all published between 1912 and 1942. And as you can see from the cover, it's very much a sort of pulp fiction kind of genre. But it's good pulp fiction, you guys. <laughs> I've only read the first two in this series, A Princess of Mars and A God or Gods of Mars, but I love this series. It's just so interesting, all this crazy Martian culture and everything. 
The Pellucidar series has seven books and it starts with At the Earth's Core. Now I only have these two, At the Earth's Core and Savage Pellucidar, which unfortunately is book seven. So I have the first one and the last one. Great. I have not read either of these yet, but I know that I love this author, so I'm expecting that I'm going to like these. This is the story of a prehistoric world that's found underground, where time stands still because there's like a miniature sun that is just stuck in the middle of the sky. Of course, how can you have sky underground? I don't know. The Venus series has five books, and it starts with Pirates of Venus, but the only ones I have are Carson of Venus and The Wizard of Venus. So I really need to get the first book in that series uh, to be able to read all of these. This one is similar to the Barsoom books where there's a man from Earth and he's transported to another planet, to Venus in this case, and he just has to deal with the culture and the aliens and all of the political craziness that he finds there. Out of Time's Abyss is the third book in the Caspak series, so I really need to get the other books in this series before I start to read this one. The Oakdale Affair is kind of a mystery romance thriller. I read this several years ago and gave it four out of five stars. I just love this entertaining story. Those are some of the books that I have read by Burroughs and other books that I want to read, books that are on my wish list because I need to get all the books in that series. Please let me know if you've read any of his books or if you have some other pulp fiction that you really like. I'm doing a booktuber shout out at the end of every video and this video I'm shouting out to Kimberly at Adventuring Bookworm. She reads classics and fantasy, she has this wonderful energy through all of her videos. And just to prove how awesome she is, she has a quote from Cornelia Funk's uh, ink spell on her about page on her channel. So that just proves how incredibly amazing she is. Go and check out her channel right now. Please subscribe, thanks for watching, and remember the right book in the right hands at the right time can change the world.